the starting lineups for these two teams. Three changes from the team that lost away in Orlando. Joel Waterman, Quadro Opoku, and Ariel Lasseter back into the side. What I like about this team is they attack with numbers, and I think it really stems on that right-hand side with Griffin Dorsey. Short turnaround, get the nil-nil at home against Dallas. As we're underway, CF Montreal, their push for the playoffs, entertain Houston Dynamo. Lead them forward, and he's done that last year, and they're going to hope that they can do it in the ending part of this season here. Joannier going direct and quickly. It comes to Romo. Kyoto in the area. That save required there from Steve Clark. Two shots in the opening minute for Montreal. That one far more dangerous from last year's top goal scorer. It's a fabulous save by Clark there in the end, and it's a great opportunity just to, well, place ball by Matthew Schwanier into the path of Romel Kyoto and hits it with power, but just not able to squeeze it past Clark. Lasseter square for Saliba. His touch forward was a bit too heavy, but Lasseter can recover. And broke ER. Lofted towards Romel Kyoto. The header across the area is right at Clark. Lasseter was charging for it, but the Houston keeper well behind it. Obviously losing Rudy Camacho in the middle of the summer there was a hole that was going to be tough to fill and obviously also some injuries now in that position. So made it a little thin back there. There are no central defensive options available on the bench and Alvarez has given it away. Aliou now into the area. Has Kovacic available. He'll lay it up for the strike of Artur! Fantastically into the top corner and on a night when Houston can clinch their spot in the playoffs, they take the lead in Montreal. To just his work rate. You can see it started with just poor decision. Turnover by Alvarez. Squared across. Kovolchek just lays it right into the path of Artur. Gives no chance for Jonathan Sirwa. Artur is unmarked, just walking into that box, really. And he's got a simple finish in the end. Off the cross, off the woodwork, the post and in. And this becomes now a challenge for this Montreal side. Not a team that likes to play from behind. Need to come from behind tonight. Corner will come for Lassiter. He shaped it out to the right side. It came off the referee. But he'll let play continue as it fell for Brokiar. Left in the air. Schwania! He went sailing through that six-yard box. Just couldn't steer it on target. Strong win in the air. Piet slipped. And it's back heel the path of Quinones. Inbound into Kovacic, who can try and get there. He won't get there, but Sirwa just about putting out that fire. Kovacic couldn't get a clean touch. Proud on a Wednesday night, but not getting much to feed off of energy-wise. He spoke to behind. Apoku charging in his defense. He'll go for goal. Never really an effort that was troubling. Steve Clark in the Houston goal. And there is the halftime whistle to the script that Ben Olsen would have hoped for, an early goal and largely negating the attacks of CF Montreal. This Houston side have done such a good job of just getting around the ball in that central area of the field and making it difficult. As they're underway with the second 45 minutes, Montreal in the blue and black, Houston, they're all orange after that initial cross. Now back to goal, Kyoto receives. Trying to find the window, but immediately surrounded by three. Laid off here for Schwanier. Trying to direct it through, and it came for the chance of Ibrahim, and still goes for the back heel. Ball squirts out to Sanusi Ibrahim. Romel Kyoto is the one who gets on the end of it at first, but then the ball just... Both players were yellow-carded in the first half, have since come off as subs, Aliou and Piet. Now a chance down this left, Lassiter stinging it through. Nobody on the near post to cause Steve Clark a problem. Was hit strongly, but fairly straightforward for the Houston keeper. Now on to 12 clean sheets for the season, Steve Clark. Each 37 season. Brokiar into the penalty of the strike from Ibrahim. Just a bit wayward. And if this Houston side can get players to run across, it'll make it challenging for Sirwa and goal. Quinones' free kick is on target. That forces Sirwa to work. Able to see over his wall, which can always be a challenge, too, for a goalkeeper, but he does that. He makes a key save right there. Of Lapalainen, and Alvarez will make way for the introduction of 4 So a center back off and two attack-minded players on. Could be a shift to a back four here, Greg. Basky always wants to go for the flair and for the skill he's got. Those things in abundance. Campbell, though, into trouble. Baird trying to win off him. It's clean to the judge for the referee. Corey Baird just sliced it wide of target. Just when you think it's 
Game, set, match. Corey Barrett's got an opportunity here. All he's got to do is just turn his foot in a position where he just got to hit the target. He's coming in the area, though, for Ibrahim and Kyoto in a good position to have a hit. Catching practice, though, for Steve Clark. Houston able to turn that pressure into a big chance. Bossy now to have a strike. And on the bounce here, Wah claims, but... Again, the pressure of Houston Dynamo nearly creating a goal-scoring chance. Six minutes added at the end of the second half. Lapalainen towards Lasseter, whose cross is an easy hitter away from a Debbie. Lasseter have a second bite at it, driven low. He's tried that cross a few times, but not enough of an angle to find. Another surge of noise to the ground. Into the near post, comes all the way through. Franco away, and Lapalainen cutting onto his right to have a strike. Three in the way, Lapalainen stops! Good ball in. Lassi Lapalainen has a chance first to trouble goal, but you know he's never going to get it through there with the three players collapsing on him, but it falls kindly to his right foot. And he hits a wonder strike, as he said, Chris, into that far corner. He's got time to eye it up. Here's his first attempt where he's got all kinds of bodies. Lassi Franco in and around him, but it just falls kindly to him. And Lassi Lapalainen, as you say, that valuable point for this Montreal side. You can see Hern Lasada is just exhausted. And now after a brief check, the goal is confirmed, and that was the final kick of the game. Hernan Lasada still felt like there was time left, but Montreal have clawed back a point. It might not be what they needed, but it could still be a huge point in their push towards the playoffs.